We want to get into an abandoned building, but it's not just any other abandoned building. This is specifically a building that used to house the largest European health spa. And this spa wasn't just for people to go work out and enjoy the luxury saunas and European ice plunges they had to offer. This is a spa that regulars would go to have sex to drink alcohol and to hang out with Tuffy the tiger that lived behind the bar in a glass cage. This video will be our journey attempting to get up close and personal with the European health spa and maybe even try to get into it. But before we show you that journey that we had, we wanted to give you guys a little bit of history, just a brief history on what this spa was, why it was even there, and why it's still lingering. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe because we post spooky content, we post shorts multiple times a week, and I live stream multiple times a week, and it would just mean a lot to us if you liked the video as well, thanks! Now this spa opened in 1968, and it actually ran through multiple owners, including Jack LaLanne. And if you don't know who Jack LaLanne is, welcome to the club, I didn't either. Apparently your mom would, your dad might, or maybe you are a mom and dad, and if so, hi, welcome, I'm glad that you're here, I'm glad that I'm entertaining for people that are older. Anyway, Jack LaLanne was a famous fitness trainer and nutrition guru, and I know that sounds like, okay, so is every other out there on Instagram, but no, this is in the 1960s, okay? He was the grandfather of fitness. People literally called him that. I'm sorry, it wasn't the grandfather of fitness, it was the godfather of fitness. People literally didn't call him grand- well, maybe his grandkids did. They might have. According to a 1971 New York Times article, the spa had actually kept a 400 pound tiger named Tuffy. It was a three year old Siberian tiger behind the bar until the Humane Society stepped in. With some digging, I found someone that actually managed the spa. And this is what they said. I managed the spa in the mid 80s. On the lower level where the ice plunge was located was a large round whirlpool hot tub located in the middle, built into the floor. The round wall surrounding the pool was an intricate mosaic of gods, specifically Roman gods enjoying themselves. On the lowest level, there was a swimming pool. The building had many hidden spaces. Once while exploring the pool area, we discovered a hallway with many small rooms behind a wall. We believe these rooms were used for the sexual encounters that were going on in the European health spa. So now we're going to show you our journey to the European health spa and what happens. But stay tuned because there's a little bit of a plot twist at the end on why it's still abandoned. Are you recording there? Mm-hmm. I told you! Hit the bullet to the bullet, baby! Anyway. Okay. I found this place by just driving by one day, randomly, years and years ago, and I was like, what the heck is that place? Right now, we're in the parking lot of, like, an oriental carpet place, and I feel like they don't want people... I mean, there are private property signs everywhere. I'm not going in. I want to look in, in it. So we're going in. If we could go over here or something to like try to get to the back. This is a nature center up here. So we're just allowed to walk through the back of it? But, but no, but that's gonna be better than walking through the front where there's people who are probably staring at us. Okay, so where am I supposed to park though? Maybe we should go around the other side. Can you tell from the outside in the video that it looks crazy? Like, I feel like it just looks normal, but it looks, it's just so crazy looking in real life. I don't know there's how to explain even like it. A, like the under part is so weird. Like it, how it looks like a spaceship. It really does. Standing guard over the dilapidated ruin is an imposing statue of Atlas, a bronze colossus emerging from the dense undergrowth that further adds to the iron curtain feel. Yeah, that's crazy. Like who has this and just like, is it private property? Like someone owns it? Yeah. Someone just still owns the land. So then why are police responsible for trespassers? Because it's illegal to trespass, and if you break the law, the police are responsible. Yeah, but like, how do they know? It says there's cameras. Bunnies! Which means... The bunnies get to trespass, that's not fair. You should pretend to be a bunny and identify as a bunny and like bounce around. Ah, look at them, they're playing! They're having fun! Oh, they're having fun! Oh no, he's, one of them sees me. No, go back with your bunny friend! Here's the other guy. They live here, this is their place now. They're the ones that put up the signs. Private property, this is our money house. Back in the 70s, this used to be home to a branch of European health spa, once part of America's largest fitness empire. This was bustling with Finnish saunas, oil of a eucalyptus inhalation, inhalation rooms, inhalation rooms. Oh my God, they're vaping. <laughs> they were vaping eucalyptus. 
Yeah. What the heck's an inhalation room? Private steam rooms full of swingers. Decorated with mirrored walls, gleaming chrome showers, and a lounge area complete with faux rock walls and a roaring fireplace. Abandoned for nearly 30 years. So we're gonna try, oh, there's the bunny again. Don't, it's okay. We're gonna try to go, oh, look, they're playing again. Oh, that's so cute. What, they just chase each other and have fun? That's so cute. Anyway, we're gonna try to go around. I keep getting so distracted, they're so cute. We're gonna try to drive around and go to the well, back. Why do chase them away? Uh, what the heck is wrong with you? We're gonna go around, try to park somewhere else because from this area, we're like on the main strip of wherever the heck we are. A chipmunk! I kind of wanna go inside, even though we're not supposed to, because you know what? I saw a photographer took a lot of photos of inside and they even took a photo of like a bag like a European health spa bag, like a bowler bag, like a vintage. Uh -huh. I want one. That's stealing. No, it's not. They're littering. This is Bunny's home, okay? Can I buy this? How much is it? How much? I'll take this off your hands just to get the bag. Anyway. We so want to see if there are ghosts here. See. Oh yeah, that's also what we brought that's our spirit box. Duh, we're paranormal people. Where we like abandon weird, creepy things, and then we try to speak to the old past of the the. the someone definitely died here. Yeah, someone definitely like had a heart attack while having sex in the eucalyptus inhalation room. It smelled like coochie and eucalyptus in there. No wonder they died. <laughs> okay, let's go and try to figure out how to get in. Professional Parker. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Okay, I'm gonna drive out of here. This is ridiculous. Oh, Kayla, Kayla. What? Oh, what the? No, okay. Now I'm stuck like this. He parked at this high school. Luckily slash not luckily, I don't know which one. There's a lacrosse game going on. So I'm here for the game. We're here for the game. Let's go Wildcats or whatever. Wait, what are they? Uh, Panthers. Panthers. Let's go Panthers. I'm a huge Panther lacrosse I'm a huge enthusiast. Fan. This is there crazy. There are so many me. stupid moms in the parking lot. Hey, is it illegal to attend? A well, youth game. I don't know if I would find myself here typically. <laughs> oh, I, I, this is my this is, this is Saturday, the ideal Saturday. It's like an 18 minute walk from here. We should have just gone from where we were. Do you mind if I get some ice cream? So we're here with our mom. Can I borrow some money? I no, need no, a no. soft we, serve. We need a story. Uh, oh, they have hot dogs. I don't have cash. I do have cash. I just want him to buy it for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> where are we? Oh. Hey, that's funny. It's called cow tipping. Should we buy some of their merch? Oh, that would be so like less sketchy if we're like, oh, we got merch, you know? Give me that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. I love being a paranormal investigator. <laughs> uh, genius thought that this would be a good idea. It's all the way down there. Once you want me to slide down this? How are we gonna get back up? Worst time to get an ice cream cone. They've literally just parked that Burger King. What are we doing right now? Are you, is, are you serious? Oh, Dude, shit. we're not gonna be able to get down there. How are we gonna get there? You can't even see the build. Okay, you can kind of see the building, but we're. We should've just Dude, gone to Burger King. Can you leave? What the hell? Yeah, we should've gone to Burger King. Okay. Whoa. Okay, grab that. <laughs> Urban exploring. <laughs> Here, your hand. No, you're gonna push me. Why would I push you? Imagine you could push me down the hill to take my channel. <laughs> I didn't know there would be a 50 foot decline straight down. So these little kids were following Kayla down there. And she turned to them and she said, I'm gonna kill you. No, I didn't. And they ran away. No, I didn't. Nope, that wasn't me. <laughs> It's a cemetery, what the hell? Symbolic, right next to us, shall we? Sure, what is this? This is so random, Let's bro. Up, baby. Wait, I don't want to go in here. Well, what if they're old as shit? They don't look good. 1942, I guess, I don't know. Those ones are kind of cool, the tall ones. Levinis. Are we not going to talk about how there's literally a high, a, a children's school right next to the um, 
sex club right next to a cemetery. It's a little weird if you ask me. Oh, there it is. I see it. Oh, wait, that's not it, is it? Is it it? Oh my God, if Burger King was just like a woods walk away from my school, ooh, things would be dangerous. I'm going to pee on Burger King. They're good. Let's go. <laughs> that is how I feel right now. Like a dirty used up Burger King crown. Dude, there's literally a police officer where we're going. Are you kidding me? Why? Do you think someone called on us? What Do you think someone to... called? Do you think that the carpet store like has a deal? Like they get paid like 20 bucks every time they report someone? God damn it. Dude, someone literally is such a f***ing rat in this building. I believe. Unless they really do have cameras that they check, you think? No, what's, you can't park in the lot and film it. What the heck? Yeah, that is spooky. Dish not fan. Mm. Oh man, the, the sun. Do you think they call the cops on us? And we just made it out? What's the notice say? Notice. Prohibited occupancy slash use. Okay, what the heck? <laughs> what the hell? What is that? What? Oh my god, I was not expecting. <laughs> Sorry oh, about that, guys. I love how I was just filming that. That's this song. Someone called the freaking pigs. You suck, whoever did that. Yeah. Carpet store people, you suck. Wait, wait, wait. We, can we get that from the apartment or no? Yeah, we could, but we're gonna so we're gonna get there, and there's a cop twenty feet away. So someone called the police. Let's just go to the candlelight in. Maybe that's haunted. that's good clickbait. We should take a photo of you in front of the cop car doing two thumbs up. Yeah, but then we didn't even get to explore. This sucks. Maybe, All I explored was a baseball. Maybe game. you can ask the cop what the deal is with this place. Yeah, but then he's gonna be like, "Were you the two people?" No. Nope. <laughs> he's like, "I literally have you on footage." This sucks. I hate this place. All right. Here. So, we're filming here. Mm. At least we're getting Burger King. <laughs> that is so lame of that guy for ruining my life. I told you, you can't trust Middle Eastern carpet dealers. Want to be my mom's like, <laughs> yeah, friend? No, she knows that. Oh, thank you. They're still there. Fuck you, you fucking copper. You smell bacon? Oh, well, who's that in that car? In the parking lot. Maybe oh, they yeah. went to the stupid place. So as you can see, we weren't able to get inside of the abandoned European health spa. After we left disappointed and went home because the cops came, I decided to research some more on who owns this property. And with some digging, I found out that the carpet store owner next door owns the property. Of course, my dumb microphone died in the middle of that. But what I was saying is I emailed the company, you know, naturally being a YouTuber, I was like, you know what? I can promote their carpet business. They're gonna let me on their property, okay? I email sales at whatever this place is. And I said, my name is Kayla Cauldron, da, 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 da. I wanted to reach out. I found that it, in addition to carpets, blah, 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 Mr. Blah, 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 also owns a property of the former European health spa. Since the property is private property, I wanted to reach out to see if someone would be willing to allow me to film on property grounds. Property grounds. I would not be entering the building, but instead just walking around the property to film it and talk about its history, okay? I'm happy to create content to promote blah, blah, blah on my YouTube page. I'm able to come to the store, da, 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 trying to get them to let me go on to their property. They didn't reply. A few days later, I email again, Jason taking in following up here no reply and so Zenu, my brilliant co-host alien sidekick sidekick is he my sidekick or am i his sidekick i think i'm his sidekick anyway he decides to call this place as my producer and manager to see if they would let us on. In an effort to not be a menace to society i am not going to play the whole video i just wanted to play a piece of it okay a piece of the phone call of what happened we're more concerned about people on the on the property Ooh, so why you were and what is the purpose of the you know i i don't know if she's drawing attention to the building we don't want that so i yeah i would say no there's a lot of negative publicity and we, we just do not want to so they don't want people knowing or talking about it so this video is literally doing the opposite so i doubt he's gonna let me there gets into local uh, 
zoning and that sort of thing. Oh, so, interesting. Like so weird. Love you know, the government. I, I don't. I really don't want to discuss it. I really don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I just don't want to go 